Hi girls and boys, it's so great to have you with us for Children's Chapel this week. Uh, Miss Melissa is here too, but she will come along a little bit later to tell a story from your book, The Story Bible. And for right now, we're going to sing the song that we've been singing uh, for uh, a lot of weeks right now. It's Jesus Loves Me, but it's not the traditional way, it's the rock and roll way. And my guest that I have with me today is Emily Shirk. So she'll be helping me as we sing. So I'll be the leader and you sing with Emily. And here we go, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. This I know. This I know. For the Bible. For the Bible. Tells me so. Tells me so. Little children. Little children. To him belong. To him belong. They are weak, but. They are weak, but. He is strong. He is strong. Give me a J. J. Give me an E. E. Give me an S. S. Give me a U. U. Give me an S. S. What does that spell? Jesus? Louder. Jesus! Louder! Jesus! Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. This I know. This I know. For the Bible. For the Bible. Tells me so. Tells me so. Little children, little children, to him belong, to him below. They are weak, but they are weak, but he is strong. He is strong. Okay, here we go. Give me a J. J. Give me an E. E. Give me an S. S. Give me a U. U. Give me an S. S. What does that spell? Jesus. Louder. Jesus. Louder. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. This I know. This I know. For the Bible. For the Bible. Tells me so. Tells me so. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Children's Chapel, the first Sunday of March. But we are in the season of Lent, moving through it. So I brought some things, you know I usually do, to share with you for my lesson today. I brought a flashlight and I brought some balloons. You're probably wondering what on earth is Miss Melissa going to do with a flashlight and some balloons? Well, I'll get to that in a minute, but first, let's kind of recap. So we spent the last number of weeks hearing about some dark times in Jesus's life. Friends that turned him in, got him arrested friends that acted as if they didn't know him or denied him. And then, of course, he was arrested and died on the cross for all of our sins. But then we also read about something called the resurrection, when after three days, Jesus came to life again. Well, this past week, we read about something called Pentecost. Hmm, big word, right? So this is another bright and amazing part of Jesus' story. Jesus rises from the dead. He spends some time again with his disciples, his friends, but then he leaves and he goes to sit at the right hand of his Father in heaven. This week with Pentecost, we learned about something called receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. So that brings me to my balloons and my flashlight. Let's start with the balloons. How many of you love to play with balloons? They have some fun uses, right? So, you know, you have a balloon, and what can you do with this balloon Might maybe for some fun? Oh, yeah, you're right. You can. You hit it up in the air, and you float it to some people and say maybe you try to play keep it up in the air. Um, I don't know. That's not really too exciting and fun. But, yeah, oh, what else can you do with some balloons? Oh yeah, maybe put them together for a party decoration, whether it's a birthday party or some other special celebration. They surely can bright up, brighten up a place. So yeah, if you put some balloons together, they can kind of look kind of nice, right? I don't know. 
Balloons are supposed to be fun, but these aren't really too great. What? What's that you say? Oh, yeah, that's right. Balloons probably do a lot better if they actually had some air in it. So hold on. Oh, yeah. That's a lot different now that my balloon has some air in it, right? Sure. Now I can bounce it around with some friends, keep it up in the air, and sure, put a bunch of them together, and maybe it might look a little bit more uh, festive if I actually put some air in these. Well, at Pentecost, what we read about in our story today, and at baptism, we're given the gift of the Holy Spirit. When we accept Jesus into our life, we're filled with the Holy Spirit. It gives us life. Just like this balloon that didn't have any air, was a bunch of nothingness, didn't have too much to offer, when we gave it air or I breathed life into it, it could do so much more. We're, we can do so much more when we are filled with the Holy Spirit in our lives and to guide our lives. Same thing with this flashlight. Hmm. Flashlights can be fun, right? You can play flashlight tag. I don't know if you've ever done that. But flashlights are very useful because you can turn them on when it's dark. They can help guide the way. Give us direction. So, Let's just see. Let's turn on my flashlight. You ready? I'm going to turn it on. Let me try it again. What? What's going on with my flashlight? Hmm. What could be wrong? It's not turning on. What? What did you say? Oh, yeah. You're right. Let me check. There's no batteries. You're pretty smart. Here we go. Let's try it now. <gasps> You're smart. Yeah, the batteries gave this flashlight power to shine so we can see. So others can see. The Holy Spirit is kind of like the battery for this flashlight. Holy Spirit gives us power so that we can shine Jesus' light for our own way and for others to see as well. So receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit, it fills you up. And when batteries are in this flashlight, it gives you power. Jesus lives, Jesus dies, Jesus comes again. Let your lives be filled with the Holy Spirit so that you can shine the light of Jesus as well. We're going to say our Lord's Prayer, and then after that, stay tuned. We have our next weekly Lenten activity that involves Mr. Yenser, so we're going to explain that to you if you're following along with our family Lenten activity. So Lord's Prayer first to end our children's chapel, but then stay tuned for our Lenten activity. So let's do our hands, uh, our arms folded like a pretzel as we've been doing the past couple weeks. So when you're ready, make a U, cross them, and fold them. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For, the, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Hi, and welcome to our family Lenten um, activity for this week. We know that we're in the season of Lent, and Lent reminds us of the time when Jesus spent 40 days and nights in the wilderness. 
a time that was particularly rough for Jesus because he had no food, no water, and was tempted in many ways. It was truly a struggle. But with prayer and strength from God, Jesus was able to say no to the many things that tempted him. And after his 40 days in the wilderness, Jesus began his ministries of teaching, healing, performing miracles, and making disciples. So this week, we're going to learn a chant that Mr. Yenser is going to teach us. And for my young friends, in your kit, you'll find some things that you could make to build your own percussion instrument to use for our chant. So in your kit, you'll find two paper plates. You'll find a baggie of some beans. And what you can do is you can decorate the outsides of those plates in any way you want. And when you're ready, uh, with the curved side up, you'll put your beans inside. You'll put the other plate on top. You'll seal it with either some tape or staples, and voila, you have a percussion instrument that you can shake as we learn our chant. And really, if you don't want to make your percussion instrument, you can do anything. You could take an empty wastebasket and turn it upside down to beat as your drum, or anything, bang two forks together, whatever is acceptable in your house. So we're going to learn this chant. Mr. Yenser and I are going to do it together. And Mr. Yenser, I'll have you take it away. Okay, here we go. We're going to take, we have a refrain that we're going to all do together. And then there's an echo part. And I'll, I'll do it first. And then Miss Melissa will do the echo part with you all. All right, here we go. Ready, go. 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus walked in the wilderness. 40 days and 40 nights. Jesus walked in the wilderness. And the devil said, turn these stones into bread. And the devil said, turn these stones into bread. And Jesus said, no, no, no. And Jesus said, no, no, no. Jesus, 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus walked in the wilderness. 40 days and 40 nights, Jesus walked in the wilderness. And the devil said, bow down and worship me. And the devil said, bow down and worship me. And Jesus said, no, no, no. And Jesus said, no, no, no. Forty days and forty nights, Jesus walked in the wilderness. Forty days and forty nights, Jesus walked in the wilderness. And the devil said, jump off the highest roof. And the devil said, jump off the highest roof. And Jesus said, no, no, no. And Jesus said, no, no, no. Forty days and forty nights, Jesus walked in the wilderness. Forty days and forty nights, Jesus walked in the wilderness. And the angels of God and the angels of God came to Jesus, came to Jesus, gave him food, gave him food, gave him drink, gave him drink, gave him rest, gave him rest. And Jesus said, yes, yes, yes. And Jesus said, yes, yes, yes. Forty days and forty nights, Jesus walked in the wilderness. Forty days and forty nights, Jesus walked in the wilderness. 